So in this video, we are going to talk about Spider-Man, No Way Home, the trailers, everything, the leaks, but it's going to be a bigger discussion video on the concept of the leak culture, the scoopers, the clout chasing, and all that. And yes, I will address my own involvement in it because I am not fully innocent. So let's get to it. So as most people that have been members of this channel for a while will know, I was part of some of that leak culture, scoop culture, whatever you're going to call it these days, uh, a couple years ago even. Uh, the biggest one I had, which most people remember, is giving an entire detailed breakdown of what Sony was doing with the Sinister Six. How they were going to approach that, what their goals were, how they were looking to use Carnage and things like that for TASM. You know, it, it was a big one. Uh, also, I had some info given to me in regards to various other things from the X-Men to what was going on in the MCU. Like, for example, I was the one that was like, hey guys, just wait till you see the scene with Doctor Strange in Infinity War. He's talking to something big on a giant green screen. I don't fully know what it is, but I think... It might be something that you guys are going to love. Something that's really going to cause a lot of judgment. Because I was hinting at the Living Tribunal. And then that was confirmed to be in there. And I started to just stop. And I just report on the news and give my thoughts now. And sometimes people have figured it out. If I know something, I will just straight up not talk about it. I will like almost ignore it. Almost to my own detriment, because then people figure out, oh, there must be something here sometimes. So now I just play dumb sometimes, too. I'm just like, oh, I don't know. Even if I do know, I'll go along with it. And this brings me to the recent Spider-Man trailer, where people were quick to point out, if you look at that trailer, um, the artist's name is right on it. And the people associated with the leak are watermarked on it. And then quickly people started to, uh, you know, the internet scoop community started to play the blame game and toss one another under the bus and be like, but the person, they're innocent, they're, they're a really good person. Here's the problem. They might be a good person. That's cool. That's great. I have friends who work in the game industry in very, very big companies. And I know some things, just like I still do from the film industry. But... I don't want to risk people's livelihood anymore. Just for a little bit of extra clicks or clout online so I can bring back some old people that are like, oh, you don't drop scoops anymore, we're leaving here. It's not worth it. It never was worth it. Which is why I stopped and I've talked about this and I regret it so many times. Luckily, unlike in this situation, nobody's life was ruined forever. Just so I could go out there and put up a couple images or whatever. But these people clearly did not care. And they did not protect the source enough. Which brings this whole thing into question. And not only that. Imagine the person that was working on that. Their entire team and department. That entire visual effects company. Now they can pinpoint all of it. To that one source. How do you think that goes for everybody working there? Hundreds of people. I hope I'm making sense here. This is why I personally do not do this anymore. This is why I told Mitch and Tristan, we don't do this anymore. We agree upon it. If we know something, we'll talk about it, you know, off of recording podcasts. But we don't talk about it. Or we wait till some time has passed, and then when it's all out there in the open, we'll go, well, <laughs> let me just add a little bit more context on here. But, you know, that's that's the thing. Like, I just don't know what more I can say in regards to this other than not protecting the source. Which, if you're a journalist, and I put that in very loose quotation marks when it comes to leakers and scoopers, journalists... If you're one of these people, isn't it the most important thing to protect your source? 